SIM card into any iPhone 13, so that includes the regular, the Pro, the Pro Max, or the Mini. Now it's pretty simple, so first get the box of phone shipped in, but if you don't have the box, I'll tell you in a second what to do. So just grab this packet right here, and you guys see this tool right here, so just pinch it out. Okay, so if you don't have this, you can use a hairpin or a paper clip, just need a needle. You can also check an old phone box. Now for most older iPhones, the SIM tray is on the right side, but for the 13 it's on the left. So you guys see the hole right here. Now you're just going to insert the SIM card ejector and push down some. So you might have to apply a bit of force, but it pops out. Alright, so now for the SIM card. So this is the front of it with the logo. And this is the back, it's gold plated. So you want it facing like that. And you're just going to place it on like this. Now for some countries they have a dual SIM. So in that case you just flip it over and put it right there. And yeah, from here you just put it back in. And hey guys, order is to it. So I hope it is helped out. iPhone XS or later, you can use eSIM to connect to a cellular plan from your wireless carrier. Here's how. To activate an eSIM, you can install an assigned cellular plan, scan a QR code, or use a carrier app. Before you start, make sure your iPhone is using iOS 12.1 or later and is connected to the internet, either using Wi-Fi or an existing cellular network. You'll also need to buy a cellular plan from a wireless carrier that supports eSIM. If, after you've purchased your cellular plan, your carrier sends you a notification to install your eSIM, you can tap the notification at the top of the screen and then tap Add Cellular Plan at the bottom of your screen and follow the instructions to set up your eSIM. If your carrier has provided a QR code, you can also scan it to activate your eSIM. In the camera app, point the lens at the QR code to scan it. Tap the notification when it appears, and then tap Add Cellular Plan at the bottom of your screen 
and follow the instructions to set up your eSIM. Some carriers will let you activate your eSIM through their app, which you can search for in the App Store. Once you've found the app, tap Get to install it, and tap Open when it's ready. Once you've signed in to your carrier account, follow their instructions to add your eSIM plan. The app will then automatically open settings where you can tap Add Cellular Plan at the bottom of your screen and follow the instructions to set up your eSIM. Once you've completed the steps, your eSIM will be active and ready for use. To learn more about how to use your iPhone, subscribe to our Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching. Hi everyone, I'm Kara from Optus. Just ordered your eSIM and need to activate it? There's a few things you need to do before you get started. First, make sure you're using the device that you intend to use your eSIM on. Next, connect that device to the internet. Now you should be ready to activate, so start by heading to the MyOptus app. Once you're in the app, tap More from the bottom menu. Tap eSIM. Then tap Set up my eSIM. Then tap Continue to read through the instructions or skip ahead. Then tap Download eSIM. Then tap Confirm. Then tap Add Mobile Plan. Then tap Continue. Your eSIM will be downloaded. If you need anything else, check out our help and support articles or get in touch. Catch you next time.